morning, St John's. It is Monday the 14th of June and that means it's time for Collective Worship with me, Mr Bohr. And we're going to start off today with a bit of an imaginative exercise. I would like you to think about how you would describe the word church. In fact, teachers, you may like to just pause the video for a couple of minutes and use your whiteboards or some plain paper to have a go at this activity. Uh, if you'd like to do that, then please feel free to pause the video now. But otherwise, what would you describe? What would you draw? I wonder uh, if you have drawn a big stone building with a triangular roof. Maybe you've looked out the window and seen a very big church in Canterbury. That is Canterbury Cathedral. And maybe you've drawn some of those towers. But the Bible describes what church is in a slightly different way. This is a description of the very first church. And this is what it says. The disciples were doing many miracles and signs. Everyone felt great respect for God. All the believers were together and they shared everything. They would sell their land and the things they owned and then divide the money up and give it to anyone who needed it. The believers met together in the temple every day. They ate together in their homes happy to share their food with joyful hearts. They praised God and were liked by all the people. Every day, the Lord added those who were being saved to the group of believers. Now, I don't know about you, but I found it strange that it doesn't talk about what a church building was like. Instead, it tells you what all of the Christians did as part of the church. It tells you that they believed things the same. It tells you that they shared with each other, that they spent time together eating. It tells you what they did, that they respected and praised God. In other words, when the Bible talks about the church, it doesn't talk about a big, beautiful building. It talks about people. People who have the same mission and the same love for each other. Now that got me thinking about St John's. I wonder what you would draw if I asked you to do the same activity as I just did about the church. If I said I would like you to draw St John's Church of England Primary School. Again, if you've got time in your classes, perhaps your teacher would like to pause the video and do this activity just for a minute. But either way, what would you draw? Would you draw the different buildings that were that are part of our school? Would you draw the AstroTurf? Would you draw the Noah's Ark? Maybe. You would draw the field and all the things around our school. But I wonder if thinking about the way the Bible talked about the church would change our thoughts. You see, something struck me on Friday when we joined together for our collective worship, uh, for our celebration assembly, of course. And the thing that struck me when I was standing at the front, playing my guitar, looking out, at all 300 children at St John's was this. This is St John's. And you know what? If something happened to our lovely building, if we had to go back into a lockdown and do our learning at home, we would not stop being St John's. And that's because being a part of our St John's family is just that. It's not about where we are or what room we're in. It's about the people that we share the heart of St John's 
with. So I'm going to leave you with a question which you can either answer now or that you can use for your Thursday um, class worship. And that is this. If St John's is the people, the children and the adults at St John's. And I asked you to describe what it was like. What words would you use? And as a further question, what words would you like to be used? Because a building is a building. You can paint the walls, but it doesn't change the building. But people can make choices. We can make St John's the most special of special school families. We've got our living values that help us to treat each other in the right way. We've got our learning values, which help us with all of the challenging learning all the way from our very youngest children up to you year sixes who are soon to be taking the heart of St John's with you when you go to your secondary schools. What would you like people to think about when we say the words St John's? I'm going to leave you with a prayer now. So if you would like to join in the prayer, you say amen at the end. But even if you prefer not to, we are all going to put our hands together and close our eyes. So that those who would like to pray can. Dear God, thank you that you loved the church so much. And you loved it because it wasn't a building. It was a group of people. And you love people. I pray that you'd help us to make St John's a special family. That when people think of St John's, they don't think about the purple carpets or the purple chairs or the purple jumpers. They think about the loving, wonderful people that make up our special family. And I pray that the last few weeks we have together this summer are filled with the joy, laughter and love that makes our school so wonderful. Amen. Have a brilliant week, St John's, and I will hopefully see you all on Friday. Bye. <laughs>